What's up, y'all? My name is Hannah May, and welcome to another episode of Benny and Frenzy 2 Shipwreck Showdown. Now, I actually uploaded a video, and the exact same thing happened again. The recording, the audio, stopped around the 15 minute mark. So, hopefully, it does not happen again. So I had to go and redo the first two fish over here. So if you see me with different lines, that's the reason. An old friend. Congratulations, you reach Hunter's Cavern. Layla's hunch was right. The shadowy creature was headed towards Hunter's Cavern. Now that she's tracked him down, it's time to let some local talent take over. These caves are dark and dangerous, but Eddie the Anglerfish will light the way. Eddie is actually a girl anglerfish. They call him a she in one instance and a he in the other instance. But it is a girl. Male underwear fish are small, they don't have the lure, They're, they, they will starve if they don't find a female. They will starve to death. And what they do is they find a female and then they latch onto her and get her under her skin into her bloodstream and they become like a little growth hanging off of their, the anglerfish, the female anglerfish. That also benefits her because she doesn't have to go searching for a male. The male is right there by her side to breed when she wants to. Studying jellyfish. Deep water jellyfish live in these caves. Try not to touch them. If you get too close, their poisonous sting will stun you for a few seconds. The like thing is, they will stun predators as well. Keep an eye out for stunning jellyfish. Here, I'll try to show you. There's nobody around. We're eating foxfish again. Okay. There we go. Here's the for a bit. We've got the grouper again. And this guy right here. That is called a pumpkin. We'll be seeing him quite a bit. Thank you, Ron. We still have our dash. Shoot! And you can see that's why I never dash. We still have our dash from our other. See, it's done them. From our other fish. And we got our engine. Still as well. I really wish I hadn't gotten that life so early. These lives are precious. do that level again because it's just stupid. It's just stupid for me to do that. Get those two lives off on the very first level of this fish. These lives are way too precious. Go 
back to earlier levels and get more alive. No, that is not the case. You cannot. You can always get you moving forward. You have one save file. You've got one path moving forward. Nothing else. No idea what those bones are. It could be any type of predatory fish in this guy. Yeah, this guy right here is a pompano. called the black swallow. It's a very small fish, but it can eat, eat things that are twice its size or more. Feeding frenzy. Double frenzy. Spend the daylight hours near this bottom of the sea and move upwards towards the surface, upward towards the surface in the evening to feed. Delving deeper. So far, no sign of the strange creature. Perhaps he's gone even deeper. To avoid our pursuit, things are sh things are dark enough here in the place called the Twilight Zone of the Sea. Now, how deep is that? Uh, according to Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, the Ocean Twilight Zone is a layer of water that stretches around the globe. It lies 200 to 1,000 meters or about 650 to 3,300 feet below the sea ocean surface just beyond the reach of sunlight. If we proceed any further, we'll, we'll be in the treacherous midnight zone, a depth where no light can penetrate. Tip, sometimes you can use jellyfish to your advantage if you've got a predator hot on your tail. Try to lure him into a jellyfish. Just make sure that you don't get caught up in the stunning sting too. Eat fish, get bigger. And I'll try to show you what they mean. That was a mistake. Eating frenzy. Alright, come on. Come on, you. There we go. I got a little bit in as well, but you can see them stunned. Nope, I will not be getting that. Double I'm frenzy. Getting that Double frenzy. Well, at least one's like Super five frenzy. If your mama goes out and buys a mushroom, you know, like from the supermarket. Mega frenzy. Odds are it's good enough to She bought it from some weird place. It's 
not gonna be second zero. Gonna kill me. But don't like go into the garden. See a mushroom. Pick it up and recite the snack. Double frenzy. Double frenzy. Double frenzy. <laughs> up these guys. Redoing that first level is because it gets insanely hard pretty soon. Fun fact, as they age, some yellow boxfish develop a protruding hump over their upper lip. The Midnight Zone. Prepare yourself for a trip into the deepest and darkest realms of the ocean. No sunlight can reach the waters of the Midnight Zone. Here below 3,000 feet, the water is cold and pitch black. Eddie will have to use her bioluminescent lure to light the way. Lighting the way, even with her handy map light, Eddie's visibility is limited here in the deep. Eat the glowing plankton to help, her, to help charge her lures so you can see better in the dark. If you spot a light bulb power up, be sure to grab it. It will give you an even bigger light boost. Grab plankton to illuminate the murky depths. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is on here like an actual uh, eating frenzy. Double frenzy. An actual angler fish of that plankton. Or if that's some type of violin Triple frenzy. Here. Super frenzy. Either way, I don't think that they actually eat the stuff. Mega frenzy. Target. This villains has a symbiotic relationship with the fish. Mega frenzy. Uh, yeah, most fish like Eddie here and many others are actually quite bioluminescent. Mega frenzy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I probably was a pixel off from being eaten. Holy cow, I sucked right in front of it and kissed death right on the lips. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, now get into it. Get into it. Get into my belly. Get into my gaping maw that's on top of my, top of my body. 
which is common for PC creditors. Mega Frenzy. Next report. Fun fact, barracudas have sharp teeth that can shred nearly any fish they catch. Midnight Snack. Midnight Snack. This detective business is hungry work. Time to take a break and recharge with a brand new bonus stage. A school of unsuspecting minnows has wandered into these dark waters and they'll make a perfect midnight snack. Try to chomp all the fish before the timer runs out. Use the glowing plankton to help you track down minnows in the darkness. There is a limited number of these glowing goodies. So don't be too greedy if you use them up use them all up at once, it'll be hard to track down their prey. Try to eat 33 minnows and 7 plankton in 1 minute. Eating frenzy. Double frenzy. Triple frenzy. level already? My goodness. Deep sea discovery. Catching up with danger. After that tasty snack, it's time to get back to business. Even elusive sea creatures have to eat. So let's play, pay a visit to one of the few feeding spots here in the midnight zone. A deep sea tent warms up the water around here, making it a popular spot for predators and their prey. Perhaps our quarry made a stop here for some food. Watch yourself and try to keep the lights on. Feeding frenzy. Double frenzy. No, 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 I do not want it. Not here, not now. Whatever. Whoa. Not really. Double frenzy. What is 
that thing. It actually does look like Eddie. And that's why I thought, like when I was a kid, it was some type of angler thing. Fun fact, more than 90% of the specific herring caught by the commercial fishing industry is used for roe, or eggs. Herring eggs found on kelp are also harvested commercially. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's continue. And now we're at Buccaneer Bay. Woohoo! Thank you so much for watching. Click the like button, it really helps. And I will see you later. Hopefully that did not mess up. Bye-bye!